Here today is Eric, organizer of the grassroots movement Retake ME3. The organization centers around the release of the game Mass Effect 3. Created by Bioware Studios, the final iteration of the Mass Effect franchise. How are you today, Eric? I'm doing just fine. Wonderful. Now, can you give us a little background? What exactly is Retake Mass Effect 3? Uh, Retake Mass Effect is a group uh, organized in order to, I don't really want to say protest, but to voice the opinion held by many fans of the Mass Effect series that the final ending of the series, basically the last ten minutes in Mass Effect 3, was just not worthy of the series as a whole, and really not what uh, fans of the series were looking for uh, from Bioware in terms of a proper ending to the series. For those who haven't experienced it yet, a little spoiler here, can you tell us exactly what, how it ends, essentially, why there is contention in this point? A lot of the contention uh, comes from uh, just the fact that the Mass Effect series is a fantastic series where you are presented with numerous decisions that affect the game in numerous ways. Uh, so every time you play is a little bit different based on the decision you make. And then right at the end, it feels as though all of your choices you've made throughout all three games have just kind of been thrown out the window and you're forced to uh, make one of three rather unsettling decisions that just don't seem to hold true uh, to the series as a whole. Mm -hmm. How exactly did the movement get started? What is your role within the organization? And but would you consider yourself a leader? Uh, a leader, definitely not. All I do is I look at what the majority of the movement is saying, and I try to just present that as a unified voice so that outside sources looking at us can see, oh, this is what members of the retake movement movement are saying, this is what they think, let's uh, view them from for having these opinions. Mm -hmm. As for how it got started, uh, basically I finished Mass Effect 3, felt like I had been punched in the gut just because it was not at all uh, what was expected, uh, and uh, I just, I literally just turned off my computer and went to bed because I just, I didn't want to think about it. Mm -hmm. And when I got up the next morning, I said, hey, uh, I should do something about this. Uh, so I started a Facebook group, uh, used the uh, hashtag retake mass sec for the first time. And uh, apparently a few other people agreed with me. <laughs> now, since that time of having, I think you even said before, 30 to 40 people, how has the organization changed from that initial moment of outrage, you starting a group, to what it is now? Like I said, uh, the movement itself is made up of individuals. So we have a lot of different people upset by the ending, doing a lot of different things. Uh, you know, I got the... Facebook page uh, and the Twitter account set up, but in the first couple of days I had volunteers for uh, a Tumblr page, which is something I've never messed with, so I said, mm -hmm. hey, more power to you. Uh, we have a great team of people working on getting an actual website going, a lot of people commenting on the uh, Bioware social network and just uh, all over the internet, because, you know, everyone has their own opinion, and a lot of people, like I said, are upset by this, so everyone is trying to do what they can playing to their own personal strengths so starting out from a movement of me and a couple people who joined to see hey what's this group about uh right now we've got over 54,000 people all trying to promote the movement in their own way uh, to get the ending we feel this series deserves. That's wonderful. Now, one of the biggest points of contention that critics have of this movement is the line between the artistic integrity of Bioware, considering this is their intellectual property, and the desire of the fans. As essentially a spokesperson, if you will, for the organization, where does the movement stand on this issue? We absolutely respect... Uh, the writers, the developers, uh, the voice actors, everyone at Bioware uh, that worked on the Mass Effect series. They did a fantastic job on the whole of the series. Uh, we would not be so upset if this was anything less than just an amazing series. Mm -hmm. But as far as the artistic integrity goes, when you take a role-playing game with, as I said, uh, all of the choices you make, 
uh, changing the game, catering to each individual uh, person's play style. When you give that to people and say, make your own game out of this, you're giving them the license to do that. We are taking the outline they gave us. We, we are creating our own games out of this. No one is trying to take credit away from them for Mass Effect at all. But as far as the artistic integrity goes, they gave us our own games. We're just trying to fully realize that. Mm -hmm. Now, I know the organization has kind of pushed away from the idea that these are just a few petulant gamers who are annoyed about a video game they love. You've actually been able, through the hard work of many people, do a lot of good through charitable donations. Can you speak to that a little bit? Um, absolutely. Uh, the feeling was, uh, well, I should say, the charity was set up by some great supporters of the retake movement who said, hey, why can't some good come out of all of this? Mm -hmm. Uh, so instead of just being uh, a horde of angry people on the internet, because let's face it, there's enough of that already, uh, we said, let's do something productive with this, uh, do something constructive that can uh, help a lot of people. Uh, so a few people set up a fundraiser for the Child's Play Charity, a great charity uh, that helps uh, children's hospitals get uh, supplies, games for the children, uh, great things like that. And so a lot of the disappointments, uh, even the anger that fans felt towards the ending of Mass Effect was channeled into doing something positive. Uh, we saw a lot of people that actually returned the Mass Effect game uh, after playing it and took all the money they got back after returning it and just gave it directly to charity. Mm -hmm. um, the charity itself was only up for about like 11 or 12 days and we managed to raise over $80,000 uh, to help children's hospitals. We really do want to set ourselves apart. Uh, there's a big push uh, for the retake mass effect to uh, have civil discourse. Uh, we try to clamp down hard on anyone who's uh, acting out too angrily or making any sort of uh, inflammatory uh, remarks towards Bioware, uh, EA, or anyone related with the Mass Effect team, because we really want to set ourselves, as I said, apart from the angry hordes on the internet mm -hmm. uh, and just have the retake Mass Effect movement being just a positive movement in general. Absolutely. Now, recently there has been a little bit of controversy surrounding that particular charity. The organization has made the decision to distance itself from your organization, citing the possible bad publicity. Now, this has kind of created a mixed responses from the community, some even going so far as to asking for their money back. As a spokesperson, how do you feel about the entire debacle with that? The fact that they want to push themselves away from you, and even to the extent that some members, or not necessarily your members, but some people who donated, want their money back. I admit, I'm disappointed that Child's Play uh, decided to end our fundraiser a little early. Mm -hmm. That said, I do absolutely understand uh, some of the reasons behind that. A lot of their uh, large donors are the big gaming companies out there who provide them with a lot more support uh, than our movement can. And to take uh, a movement like ours and risk all the donations they're getting uh, from these big companies just does not serve the kids they're supporting very well. Mm -hmm. So if people are viewing them as an, uh, an organization that is promoting, uh, you know, kind of a protest group, it reflects badly on them. That said, uh, I want to say they never officially endorsed us. We were never officially associated with them in any way. All we were doing was trying to, uh, you know, give some money to help some sick kids. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, I think a lot of the controversy within the mass uh, the retake movement was caused by some of the confusion that happened right after uh, the fundraiser ended. Uh, it wasn't entirely clear at first why uh, Child's Play decided to uh, end the fundraiser early. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it took a while. I managed to get in contact with uh, the people that set up the uh, fundraiser. Uh, and it was exactly for Child's Play was receiving uh, a lot of hate mail even from people who viewed them as supporting the retake movement. Uh, so they didn't made no demands on us. They simply uh, requested that uh, if we could uh, end the donation, uh, the fundraiser a little early, uh, so as not to reflect uh, badly on them mm-hmm. uh, from the views of these other people, uh, they'd appreciate it. Um, so uh, we said, sure, that's fine, uh, and just drew it to a close early. Uh, I believe one of the people that set up the fundraiser uh, put a cap uh, on the fundraisers at 80000 So once that was reached, uh, the drive officially ended. Mm-hmm. Um, well, well, that's no, but that's uh, that's wonderful, though, that you actually took the time and said you thought it would be in the best interest for people who are helped by this charity that they continue to operate as a charity. And if association with you made that a difficulty, I think it's uh, quite a noble thing to then say, oh, I understand completely, keep helping kids. No, thank you. We, uh, like I said, we're trying to do uh, some good out there, and we don't want to hurt anyone doing that. Mm -hmm. And tying into that, since you have mentioned that you are trying to do some good, are there any plans in the future for other charitable works from your organization, from the organization, I should say? We're looking at the problems we had with the Child's Play fundraiser, uh, how there was a lot of negativity from people outside the movement looking at it as, you know, the the retake movement trying to use charity to make Bioware, yay, all these people look bad, trying to make it look like, hey, we support charity, uh, we won't do this if you don't give us what we want, trying to use the charity as a hostage, mm-hmm. uh, which is absolutely not true, but a lot of people are seeing it this way, so we're taking the time to look at how we can continue to do uh, charitable work, but in a way that doesn't present uh, that possible line of thinking from mm-hmm. occurring. So there will be future charitable work, uh, the retake mass effect uh, move then will do, but uh, it probably won't be for a couple weeks where we completely reevaluate the situation to come up with the best way possible to do the most good. Certainly, and I know that there has been a lot of information about the movement and, in your words, a lot of misinformation about it. I know a recent IGN article specifically states a lot of things that you, as one of the spokespersons for the group, disagree with. Is there anything you would essentially like to settle once and for all and to quell any misinformation that's being spread? Basically, I think the easiest way to do that would just be to summarize the key points of the retake movement. We aren't looking for a quote-unquote happier Disney ending, uh, which a lot of people uh, seem to believe. Now, there are a lot of members of the retake movement that wouldn't mind seeing that, but our main issues with the ending are lack of closure and the lack of as I was saying, the feeling that our choices throughout the games matter. If those two issues can be addressed and addressed in a well-done manner, uh, I think everyone will be happy with that, even if the ending is still bittersweet, negative, mm-hmm. etc. Uh, we just want to see what happens in the end to all of the you know the characters that uh, we've gotten to know throughout this great series. Uh, we just want a what happens next to all of these people. Certainly. Well, um, there have been uh, recent information from Bioware co-founder Dr. Ray. He released a statement basically saying that he's listening to fans' complaints and that he's hard at work with Casey Hudson with additional content to provide closure for your characters. Now, I know this particular statement has been analyzed by many different people because it's not exactly clear what's going to be done or really we're taking responsibility. The group Bioware hasn't really taken responsibility for something that you would see as faulty. What does the organization think about this recent piece of information? Uh, We're cautiously uh, optimistic about it. We appreciate that Bioware is looking at all the feedback. They have a great history of uh, listening to and responding to their fans, Uh, and we have great hopes that this will be another case where they do exactly that. 
Um, there hasn't been anything, you know, no 100% guarantees on anything, uh, which is part of uh, the uh, misinformation uh, you were asking about earlier. Mm. Uh, some groups seem to believe that the retake movement is winding down its effort that we've already won, so uh, now it's all over, uh, which is definitely not the case. Um, it's been said by a lot of people that the retake movement will exist as is until either we are or we receive uh, an ending worthy of the Mass Effect series or a statement from Bioware saying absolutely nothing is going to be changed, period, so you may as well just give up. Mm -hmm. So it's great to actually hear from someone at Bioware that they're taking our uh, concerns, they're looking at everything we have to say, uh, and they're looking for ways to address them. Uh, we're really grateful someone took the time to uh, comment on that, and we're hopeful that uh, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned before that there is such an eclectic group of people who are a part of this organization. That means it's going to be very difficult to reach any sort of consensus when it comes to actually Bioware delivering on their promises. If Bioware does release content that addresses many of the issues and appeases a majority of the retake members, but still leaves that bad sensation with a lot of other members, what will be then the consensus at that point? Because I see that as a very real possibility of Bioware mm -hmm. creating something that appeals to a lot of people, but not everyone. And since your organization is so large, what do you do? The main point that 99% of the supporters of the retake uh, movement are uh, voicing are we want closure for our characters, uh, we want some of the uh, plot holes filled uh, at the end of the game, I really think that if those two issues are addressed and addressed well, like I said, 99% of people will say, all right, I feel better about this. Good job, guys. We did it. Mm -hmm. um, there are too many people for everyone to be completely satisfied by everything. Um, but the retake movement is a movement for the masses. Uh, so if we can get that 99% happy, uh, I think we'll have uh, succeeded in what we accomplished. Uh, and I hope the people who aren't happy with the ending by that will continue to work to get what they want, continuing using constructive criticism, uh, polite and respectful feedback to Bioware, uh, voicing any further concerns. Mm -hmm. We kind of hit the nail on the head with that as well, because many news organizations, many gaming websites, have mentioned that this could be a very dangerous precedent within the gaming community. That outrage within fan a fan base could require that gamer that excuse me the game developers actually change their product. What do you think about this type of idea? Do you think it's a dangerous precedent or it's a well deserved precedent, something that should be part of the gaming culture? I don't think it's a dangerous precedent at all. Um, a lot of people who are making that argument are forgetting that gaming companies are producing a product and selling it to consumers. If uh, I were to buy a toaster that when I tried to make toast caught on fire and slapped me in the face, mm -hmm. uh, I would complain about that. Classic toasters, uh, and yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm sure other people would as well. Uh, as I said earlier, we respect the artistic integrity, the uh, the designs used, the story written, uh, all the unique things about the Mass Effect series, but the product itself does need to be catered to the consumer. But I do feel that is a good thing for or large companies to say, hey, we can't give a mediocre product out to people. Uh, we have to work on maintaining the highest standards to keep our uh, consumers happy. Kind of final question for the organization. What comes next for Retake Mass Effect 3? When everything is over, there are some plans. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of different people, both uh, associated with the movement itself uh, and some others. Uh, Retake Mass Aspect will continue in some way after the end, but I really don't want to go uh, too much into detail on that right now mm -hmm. uh, before anything's been completely worked out, uh, but we will be around for quite a while. Now, just final thing, I know I said final thing before, but here's the real final thing. Do you have any final words or any information or message that you want to spread to not only the gaming community, but to members of the organization that haven't had the chance to hear you as a spokesperson really talk? Is there anything you'd like to say? 
I'd absolutely love to just take a personal moment and thank everyone in the movement for the amazing support they've given to it. Uh, when I started the movement uh, on Facebook, I expected 30 or 40 people. We'd yell for a couple of days and then just kind of fade away. Uh, but I've got just amazing support from the Mass Spec and gamer community at large. Um, I've received a lot of messages from people just saying, hey, thank you. I was kind of devastated at the ending of Mass Effect 3. This group really helped. Mm -hmm. um, and just the positive support uh, from people has been fantastic, uh, especially in the early days uh, of the movement. Our main Facebook page, a lot of people were saying, was a wonderful support group mm -hmm. because there were other people that had experienced the same thing. Uh, a lot of memes were generated that are rather humorous if you give jokes. And it's just been great to see all these people come together uh, to support each other to get uh, the ending that the Mass Effect series deserves. And I just want to thank everyone for their support on that. Wonderful. And I'm talking to the spokesperson of the Retake ME3 movement, Eric. We're going to continue to talk to him as things progress, and hopefully you'll be to hear from him again. Eric is holding the line, and we hope you do too. Thank you very much for listening.